Hey everyone, Nikki here, Twilight Huntress. This is severely late to the game, but like I've told you in past videos with some of the items I've ordered, that cost too much to ship to Canada, but I still wanted to get in on it. I've had shipped to the border, and this one was actually since June, I believe, as far as I can tell from the labeling. So what I got, and I'm gonna first say that this is a metaphysical subscription. They again, um, mail it in a mailer so it's discreet so if you like they say are in the broom closet and you don't want people to know what you're getting then this one which happens to be tamed wild for June I believe if I'm wrong I will post it up here um, was definitely packaged in that way so we're just gonna get right on into it because I wanted to see what was in here I don't even know if I I don't even recall watching any videos of the sort for this one so it might be all a big surprise to me but I know I was ordering um, I, the plan was to order only the months that had the charm so this will be my third charm for the charm bracelet that they have going on for the year I've missed the last one but you know what June July. yeah it would have been August and do you know what though I kind of gave up on that because I wasn't I'm not too thrilled about the bracelet itself. It is tarnishing and I'm like, do you know what? There's no point and I have nowhere else to put the charms, but it's definitely, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's, it's definitely tarnishing on me. So I was like, do you know what? Nope, I'm just not gonna do it. The quality of the bracelet itself already was bad. How long before the charms start turning color? Okay, so right? let's just get right into this beautiful little box and see what it's got. It's got this beautiful, um, botanical type print on it, Tamed Wild. And on the bottom it also says Tamed Wild. It's got its website and it's got the moon phases. So it's a pretty little box. And let's just get on into this. So on the top, very nice. So I guess we're getting some rose water in here. Here's a sticker that says rose water. Nice. We have got three cards. One says honoring the goddess. We've got another one that says Artemis, the story of Artemis. And it talks about shape shifting on that one. And then ritual tools, bow and arrow, amulet, rose petals. I guess this is what's in there. So maybe I missed out on the, who knows? Nope, I think this is it. So we've got a little baggie that says Tamed Wild. And these baggies can double as tea bags, actually. These are really good for that. So, okay, we've got the little bow and arrow charm. Super cute. I really like that one. Definitely didn't watch any spoilers on this because had I, I would have known that was coming. We have got a little dropper bottle. So I guess that is to mix something one of the rituals or whatever I can't get this there we go one of the rituals or I'll just use it for whatever I want here we have got oh my goodness these are like pebbles and this is like one of the reasons that tamed wild isn't the greatest I think the box itself is $25 plus $5 domestic shipping which is the US price and then to Canada it was like 20 or $25 shipping just astronomically stupid like there's no way that it was worth that for shipping. But in here we've got literally two little <laughs> quartz pebbles. That is pathetic. I'm sorry. That is like the tiniest stones. I mean, I'll put them to use, but definitely doesn't bring much to this box as far as that goes. Here we've got some rose petals. Organic herb contains rose petals and butts. Botanical, I'd rather have roses on my table than diamonds around my neck. Quote by Emma Goldman. So that is the herb that they gave us. There's a little peekaboo window. You can see what's in there. That's very nice. And it looks like we may have some kind of um, tarot cloth or altar cloth. Or a bag. Well, that's kind of cute. Oh no, I do like that. That's super cute. 
I will definitely put that to good use. I like that. That's, the, that's my favorite part of this box so far. And here we have, I have no idea, something white. And it's not paper. I'm going to read over those little cards again and see what's going on. Well, I guess it is some kind of, I'm not sure what this is, but is it seed infused? It looks like there's seeds in there. I don't know if you can see through it. Kind of, right? Really hard to see, but it's seed infused, I guess. Let's see if they're all like that. Yeah. Okay, that, I'm not sure what that's for, but pretty cool. And these cards, what does it say? For ritual tools. Oh, the amulet, of course. Um, Artemis, the Greek goddess of maidenhood, wildlands, midwifery, and animals. In the old world, she carried a bow and an arrow, a symbol that showed up today in art and literature. Reminds us that she is both a huntress and a guardian. When we wear this amulet, we honor our guardian spirits. If we feel drawn to work with Artemis, we ask that this amulet shield us from violence, uphold our independence, and safely guide us through the darkest parts of the forest. That's pretty cool. And then the rose petals. For this ritual, we, were, we will create a potion with rose petals, water, and intention. For a simple rose water recipe, add the remnants of the herb bag to a saucepan and simmer with one cup of distilled water until the flowers have lost their color about five to 10 minutes, remove from pan or remove pan from heat, cover, let it sit until cooled, filter out plant material with cheesecloth or strainer and pour potion into the apothecary bottle. That's pretty neat. I like that, but what is it used for? What do we use rose water for? Depending on how you plan to use the rose water, you might consider adding witch hazel, essential oils, oils or additional dried or fresh flowers for a larger batch. Okay, and the bottle, the dropper bottle, ritual stone. Begin this ritual by charging these clear quartz crystals with intention. When the crystals are aligned with the desired frequency, use them to activate the rose order. Okay, okay, I take it back about them being pebbles. They have to go in the dropper bottle. So let's just see if they fit in there. Boy, I just, well, one of them does not fit in there. Does not. One of them does. Okay. I've got nothing to say about that. I jumped the gun. That's all I got to say about that. Okay. Parchment. Restock your ritual toolkit with the 12 new pieces of parchment. These pages are excellent for recording spells and sigils before tucking them into your grimoire or composing written intentions before burning or burying. It's funny though, it does seem like they are, I mean, they are parchment. They are a strange kind of parchment. To me they are, anyway. It's got, I like the, I like the feel of it, but this is not like parchment I've used before. It almost has like a um, fabric-y feel to it. But that's cool, I like that. And then the Artemis card and the tote bag. Take this celestial tote bag with you on your next outdoor adventure. Use it to carry, use it as a carry-all for all ritual tools, farmer's market finds, or whatever speaks to you during your next foraging trip. That is cool. I wish it had a little bit longer handles though. Um, I'll use it for whatever I want to use. I'll use it for a purse if I feel like it. I really like this bag. This, like again, is my favorite part of this box. So this box for June was actually quite nice. It was all pulled together really nicely and had I like the rose water ritual still I'm not sure if I'll use it exactly for that because I got to find out exactly what I would use rose water for I don't want to make concoctions that I'm just never going to use I was thinking of making some I, I did like this huge harvest of rose hips at the lake last weekend and I do want to make some oils out of that so maybe I'll use this dropper bottle for the rose hip oil versus this rose water. I do like the sticker that would go on to label it. That's pretty cool. But yeah, 
we're always going to have different intentions and different paths and different wants in life at the moment, right? This is a cool bag, but yeah, I think I might do something a little bit different than what they have been planning to do with it. So I don't believe, not for a while anyway, will I be um, indulging in Tamed Wild again. I have liked their boxes. I haven't loved their boxes. I've liked them and I guess that's all that can be said for that. But um, if it was the choice of shipping to Canada though, this box would definitely not be worth it to me to have it shipped to Canada. It would cost more than any of the way better boxes that I've subscribed to in the past to get here. And that makes no sense since it is like a third of the size of those boxes. The items inside are not as well put together as the other boxes. So to me, it's not worth it. It was nice to get a few of them and get a feel for it. And now I have, so I don't know. I've seen that some people are finding other subscriptions and they look okay. I might try those in the next few months. Right now I'm kind of um, slowing down with that just because of um, life issues, <laughs> we'll put it like that. But anyway, I'm so happy that y'all joined me again for this. I was going to do another wish, but do you know what? We need to change it up a bit. And I thought this was perfect to open now. I just received them. That along with these two fragrant jewel shipments, which I totally forgot I ordered too. But those also were at the border. My friend brought them back for me. So excited to get into that too. Anyway, I hope you're all having an amazing day, evening, weekend, morning, afternoon, wherever you're at in the world when you watch my video. Do like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.